ओके You mean today? Yeah, already. Really? I know. Oh, crazy. Surprised they didn't buy any of these games. Okay. So basically, I went online and I looked at Amazon and GameStop and whatever their price was. I kind of cut it in half and then probably reduced it some more. So okay. Okay. Mm, probably pick up most of the stuff. What's that? I'll probably pick up most of it. Oh, wow. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I might have. Are you asking for a game? Um, like two dollars per. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How much is this? Those ones. I pick up these five. Season? Yeah. Uh, make sure they have games in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh that was missing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, I probably don't have eight though. Uh, you can't break a twenty, are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. For how much? Eight. Eight. Yeah. And how many you get? Four. Four. Yeah. I thought he had a guitar here. I was wondering if he had video any more. He had video games. Oh, okay, he had a video game. Are there more video games or that's it? Uh, I mean, that's yeah. it. <laughs> Feels pretty good. How much were you asking per game?
Um, you can all play with it, cuz. Um, people would think it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. I don't want to see that. How much did you want for the PS2? What's that? How much did you want for the PS2? Uh, 25? Yeah, sure. So I, get, I got two, four, ten games, so, uh, 55? Uh, yeah. Hey YouTube, I'm here showing my video game finds for the first week of August 2015. Uh, no footage last week, obviously, but did go garage selling last week. It did not go so well. Um, picked up maybe 10 or 12 games all at one place. Uh, so not the greatest of weeks video game wise. Did pick up some non video game stuff, so it wasn't bad garage sale weekend this week. And there was a citywide where I usually garage sale, so um, quite a few garage sales, but um, for citywide, usually it's hit or miss for me because uh, they don't really list um, what the items they're selling, just that they're having a garage sale in roughly kind of categories, so it's hard to say if you're going to get lucky or not. Um, a few people did post on Craigslist, even though they did the citywide thing posting on their uh, main webpage that did post video games, so I tried to go there first. So I'll get right into it. Um, overall, an average week. Uh, I'll show you where I got thrifting first. A few consoles at Goodwill. Um, one, actually one console, one Dreamcast. Uh, came with the cords and the controllers. A few other random cords as well, like an Xbox 360 cord. Kind of a weird bundle there. And then a few games, um, actually at a different Goodwill, this one pretty sure, was um, donated from a retail store, Mario Kart 8, but did pay quite a bit, paid 30 bucks for that. Oh yeah, inside the Dreamcast was one game, Ready to Rumble Boxing, um, for the Dreamcast. And then um, at a different Goodwill, I picked up two games, one N64 game, Extreme G, and uh, Masters, Tiger Woods, PGA Tour, 012. That was five bucks, and that 64 game was two bucks. And then at Savers, picked up a few items. Um, one PS2, I paid 17 bucks, uh, just the PS2 by itself. It did work though. And then uh, one Wii console. This one came with two controllers and one nunchuck. Paid 30 bucks for that. Uh, prices of the Wii's have definitely dropped. I think uh, GameStop has dropped their price from 80 bucks to. Uh, I think I was there yesterday and they charge only 60 bucks now. So definitely if you're buying Wii's, do not pay uh, that much anymore. Pay pretty much what you're paying for PS2's. And then picked up a few games there as well. Um, actually inside the Wii was Wii Sports, just got lucky there. And then I picked up Wii Sports at Savers for $3. And then, did I pick up any other games? I'm just looking, um, shooting this video actually twice. Uh, no. That was it at Savers this week. Um, not sure what's going on over there. So like I said, there was a citywide. Um, I'll try to do this in order. Um, I feel like I will not get it done in order. Um, the very first place I went to, um, they actually listed on Craigslist, um, was the lot of handheld games 
and uh, Game Boy SP. So for the video game stuff, I'll say I paid 80 bucks for it, um, 20 for the iPod, one Game Boy SP. Uh, so it's marked 20 bucks, and then um, uh, sorry, a piece came out of this. I'm a little bit worried about it now. Uh, the Game Shark, uh, which is actually pretty expensive, um, they had it marked 20 bucks. I'll fix this later. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, I guess, expensive item. And then a few DS games. Um, some in the box. This one I'll keep. Kirby, Squeeze God, and uh, Disney Princess Magical Jewels. One of the DS game by itself, Pokemon Diamond. And then a few Game Boy Advance games. Um, I'll just show you the manuals for two of those. Uh, Banjo Kazooie and uh, Pokemon Mystery Onion Red Team. And then uh, Pokemon Emerald, Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. Events, Dawnbreaker, those two games are very expensive. Metroid Fusion, and then this one I think she marked it wrong. Uh, Super Mario Advance, um, she said she should get Amazon, so prices were a little bit high here. Uh, but not a terrible, terrible deal uh, for all the stuff. So after that was um, the PS2 lot. Um, they actually posted that at PS2, so we put it over there. So the PS2 was 25, came with three controllers and all the cords, and then a stack of games, three dollars a piece. Um, this person definitely liked Kingdom Hearts 1 DS game, Kingdom Hearts 358 2, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, VX Files, Resident Evil Dead Aim, Spawn Armageddon, Ghost in the Shell, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2. Transformers, and then uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, definitely a really good lot of games, I would say. And then, um, I think after that was a small lot of Xbox 360 games. I think the kids were selling them. Uh, I paid 21 bucks. Um, they didn't have any change, so I just picked up um, uh, $20 worth of games. I only had $20 bills at this point. Uh, NBA. NBA 2K13, Call of Duty uh, 4, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, um, this one's a pretty recent game, Rise of the Guardians, Assassin's Creed 3, Smackdown vs. Raw, finally Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, so I think those were the major lots of games, a lot of places I picked up only one or two games. There was a small lot of games, only four games, where I asked. Um, I think there's spot footage. Uh, $2 a piece. Tekken Tag Tournament. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for PS3. A sealed copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, there was another listing for video games, DS games. Um, I headed over there. I think someone showed up before me because he had heard stuff than what he showed in the picture. Um, paid 20 bucks for these two games. Um, probably not worth it, but it's okay. Lego Harry Potter for the Wii, 10 bucks. And finally, Heroes of the Mana for the DS for 10 bucks. I actually walked to another garage sale after that and came back and he had two of these items that I didn't notice. A Game & Watch, a Game & Time Soccer, and then uh, this one's actually pretty expensive, Game & Watch. Nintendo Octopus. Um, haven't tested it. Waiting for the batteries to come in. Both for five dollars a piece. Um, like I said, the rest of the garage selling was just a few items here and there. Um, picked up a few random garage sales. Slackheart Thunder for the Xbox for a dollar. Spider-Man Three also a different garage sale for two dollars. Um, this was two for five. Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PS3 and uh, NBA Ballers Chosen One. And then this was for a dollar at a garage sale. Battle for the Pacific for the Wii. Um, picked up this um, Xbox 360 wireless adapter for a dollar as well at a different garage sale. Um, definitely worth it. Um, they go for around 30 bucks on eBay. And then um, this is actually 
way past, closer to 11 o'clock. Um, went to this garage sale. Um, they only had sports titles, two dollars a piece. Obviously, someone was there before me. NASCAR 08, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10, um, sealed copy of Madden 08, and a sealed copy of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08. Um, only a few other games left here. Uh, two different garage sales, two cartridge Nintendo games in the box. Winnie the Pooh Adventures, 100 Acre Woods for the Game Boy Color. It's two dollars, and then this was two dollars. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Advance. Um, it is not complete though. Kind of sucks. Uh, missing the cardboard box insert and the instructions, but pretty expensive game. Uh, definitely well worth the two bucks. Um, and I think that is everything, uh, video game wise, for the city wide. Um, I think that is pretty much it actually. I'll show you um, the item I bought three weeks ago. Um, I said I bought this. Um, it is the JFJ icon. It is not the Easy Pro. This is a disc uh, resurfacer. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I paid, um, bought it from the manufacturer directly from their website. I paid 180. I think the original price a long time ago was 400. They marked it down quite a bit. Um, they're actually selling this plus the Easy Pro together for 270. Um, Overall, I tried 30 discs, and 30 discs that would not read either PS1, PS2, Dreamcast, uh, Wii titles. Um, I think out of the 30, maybe 3 or 4, I still couldn't get to work. That's one Xbox game, one Dreamcast game, and um, actually two PS2 games as well couldn't work. So four games out of the 30 that I tried on the machine. I might try it again, put them in longer. The recommendation is only 30 seconds for some games and a minute for others. Um, from what I can tell, this is a one step system compared to the Easy Pro. The Easy Pro has a um, sandpaper uh, pad and then the polisher pad. And this is just, I think, it's just the polisher pad by itself. Uh, so there's no uh, back and forth, there's only one chemical you're putting on, there's not multiple chemicals you're working with. Um, so obviously time-wise it's cut in half, but it doesn't do it as well as the Easy Pro. So if you have a very, very deep scratch on your disc, this will not fix your problem. Um, a few of the discs I tried had a lot, a lot of light scratches and I was able to resolve it. Some of them, like I said, did not work, um, but 26 out of 30 I think is pretty good for uh, this item. I think well worth it. Some of the games that I had that could not read were in the $20, $30 range, even though they're disc only, so definitely made my money back here. Um, so, up to you guys, if you got a lot, a lot of disc, and you try to just, you know, go right through it, try to get it done as quickly as possible, I get this. If you only have a few discs, um, the Easy Pro is probably the better um, choice. I'm not sure how much the Easy Pro is, though. Uh, I might want to go to the manufacturer's website. Uh, so that is everything this week. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya.